bumpers. So today I'm gonna work on sit with Bentley. This is one he actually mostly already knows, but I really wanna kinda pound it in because uh, whoever, you know, he, he learned it from whoever had him before me. And um, he kinda knows it. He doesn't always do it immediately. So it's a toss up between whether he actually knows it or whether he just does it when he kinda feels like it. So we're gonna kinda drill it into his head. Once again, I'm going to be using his own kibble instead of treats, because I don't want him getting fat, and it is his dinner time. The other thing is Bentley also inhales his food whenever I feed him. So by doing it this way, he is forced to eat slower, because he's only getting a little bit of kibble at a time. The hard part of this is, you'll notice, he's already sitting. So we're gonna have to get him to stand up and then sit back down. Huh, buddy? So let's get started. Come here, Bentley. Bentley, sit. I've also been trying to teach him down. So right now he's down instead of sitting, which is not what I wanted. I don't want to reward this because I want him to know the difference. I also want to later be able, when he's down, get him to sit, which is different. I want him to know the difference. I want him to know that when I give him a command, it doesn't mean just, you know, the next in a series. It does, if I say, you know, sit 20 times, it doesn't mean sit and then down and then roll over. No, sit just means one thing. And that sit does not mean down. Get up. <laughs> you need to get up for me to teach you this. Also, keeping him on a leash helps. All right, Bentley, sit. And he's down again. This could take a while. Bentley, sit. <laughs> he knows I have food. He's really hyper. I'm going to try and stand up. Good sit. And down he goes. I'm going to stand up to make him stand up more often. Good boy. Bentley, come here. Bentley, sit. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good sit. Good boy. Good boy. We have got to teach you some manners. But let's work on the basics first. Good boy. Yay. Come here, Bentley. Boy, Bentley, sit. Oh, you went down again. This is going to be tricky. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Yes. the command and make sure he knows what I'm asking him to do, that every command isn't the same thing. Bentley, sit. Good. Ah, ah, we went too far. I notice that when I move closer sometimes, Bentley, sit. That's down, that's not sit. Come here. Come here. Grab his leash. Sit. Good sit. Good boy. Good boy. Let me give him a second to eat. Since we spent time working on clicker training, might as well use it. Notice he's getting the hang of this, 
and he's trying to do it without me asking him. Bentley, sit. Good boy. Yay. Here's another little morsel. Bentley, sit. Good boy. Good boy. What makes me really thrilled is he knows he can see where I'm keeping his food and he's not going after it, which completely shocks me. It's great. Good boy, Bentley. You come here. Come here, Bentley. <laughs> see, he knows sit will get him food, so he's trying to stay seated as opposed to moving around until I ask for the command. All right, so let's bring you over here. Good boy, Bentley. And you see, I don't even have to ask for the command now. But I don't want him to just give the command or give the behavior whenever. I have to ask for it. He doesn't get to, you know, sit whenever he wants and then get a treat or get some kibble. He's got to do things on my time frame. Bentley, come here. Sit. Good boy, good sit. anticipating what I'm going to say. Come here, Bentley. Come here. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Bentley. It's hard to give you a command if you're anticipating what I'm going to say. Sit. Bentley, sit. Good boy. I want to make sure his butt is touching the ground. Not that he's not just doing, you know, a half sit. A little crouch thingy. Now usually, if you stand in front of a dog long enough, he's going to wonder what you're, what's going on, and he will eventually sit, generally. So um, if you're trying to figure out how to teach your dog to sit, that's one way. Another way is lifting up on the leash and pushing his butt down. Bentley, sit. Good boy. You're not very good at staying in frame, though. Bentley, sit. Good boy. And again, I am using the clicker sometimes. I don't want to use it all the time because I might not always have it on me. All right. Bentley, come here. Bentley, sit. Good boy. With that, I'm just going to give him the rest of his dinner. Good boy, Bentley. Good job today.